Hold on. Are you surprised, really? You think this is clickbait? You don't believe me? Shaquille O'Neal is a Freemason. We'll talk about that later. Listen, I'm about to show you a video of Shaquille O'Neal DJing in Los Angeles and the devil appears. You heard that right. The devil appears and everyone is raising up their hands and clapping and dancing to music. Take a look at this. That's a devil right there. So everyone is actually lifting up their hands, praising the devil. The image appears. This is the, the image of the beast. The devil, I mean, Shaquille O'Neal is DJing. And people are not realizing they're receiving demons and these frequencies and these sounds that are being released are demonic. Demons are being summoned and entering people. This is why you shouldn't go to raves and none of this stuff. It's just demonic. It's all demonic frequencies. Get you drunk, high, um, you know, all of these other drugs. And it's just. You hear that? Hands up. That's Shaq. Let me let me zoom in real quick so I can really see what's happening right here. Yeah, this is very demonic. Oh my goodness. It's like a female demon. That is absolutely demonic. A spirit of lust and seduction is being released, obviously, because it's like a womanly devil type of thing. Like, a lot of people don't understand, like, a lot of NBA players are Freemasons. A lot of these are celebrities and whatnot. Uh, now, y'all think I'm lying about Shaq. Look at this. Right? Freemason. I believe this happened back in 2011. Right? Look at him. He's showing it off. Freemason. He became a Mason in 2011. And a lot of NBA players, when they, come, they, when they become former NBA players, you know, they'll become Masons and they get all these opportunities and sometimes they'll become Masons while still in the NBA. So they're promised all these opportunities afterwards and all this and all that, even outside the NBA. And people <laughs> ask yourself, why is Jaquille Neal joining the Masons? Multi-millionaire. What does he need the, need the Masons for? Why is he in a, in a secret society? Why is he DJing and the devil appearing? Now look at this. You don't believe me still? Look at this. What are you going on there? That's a ring of my profession. We don't know nothing about that. Okay, well, can we get a close-up on that? Yeah, yeah. What, we don't know nothing about that. What is the profession? Yeah, which profession are we talking about? Just look at it. Is it a legal profession? Right there. That's a ring. He's showing it off because... When people get initiated into Freemason, there has to be some type of public, like, of you showing it off, whether secretly or through code or whatever. They have their handshakes, and sometimes it will be a sword uh, ritual that you've seen with certain ministers, right? There's always this public thing that has to be done. The rituals and stuff will happen behind the scenes, but there's always this public, like, showing the world who you are. Of course, it's legal. It's only in my profession. I'm trying to read it. Okay. Uh, it's too many thousands. Ah, that's too bright. Oh, that's too bright. Go ahead, anyway. Oh, Mason, are you a Mason? <laughs> of course I am. Okay. He said, are you a Mason? Of course I am. Shaq said, of course I am. Right? You might as well put your pinky out when you drink your drink. Of course I am. Put your pinky out. You're going through the secret ceremonies? Stop it. Everyone wears Anyways, the Clippers. The Clippers. But that is impressive. You see how he didn't want to get in that discussion about you know, because they're about to get controversial. 
And he was like, yeah, I don't want to get into that because the stuff of Freemasonry is occultic. It's demonic. It's the old deal. I don't have a change. Anyway. So like, what? Right? That's a symbol. So don't be surprised that, oh, shock, the devil, and this, the devil came up, he was DJing. These people are, are initiating you and sacrificing you, and you're just getting demons, man. Are we surprised? Are we surprised, man? This is why I used to have certain idols growing up when I was playing basketball. And I realized like a lot of these people be Freemasons in the into the occult. So I don't I don't have any idols anymore. I don't care who you are, who I look, looked up to and whatnot. I can appreciate someone's ability in basketball, but I just keep it at that. A lot of these folks be occultic. Praying for their repentance. We don't pray death on anyone. And God wants them to repent. This right here, it ain't it. 